boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Even. Sit. Fetch. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Lots of lots of praise when it's in the proper place, which is in his mouth. Fetch. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Even. Sit. Fetch. Good boy, sit. Good dog, sit. Okay, that's the way you start one. Now we're going to get another dog and show you what the finished product should look like and also how to make a transition from this table down to the ground. Okay, this fella has, has been through, the, uh, through the, the course on the condition retrieve and I want to show you uh, what the finished product is and how to make the transition to the ground. And what we want, we want him, you saw me start the one dog and get him picking him up off the table. And gradually we'll require of him that he go further to get it. And also we'll require more obedience of him on the table after, after the first few sessions. Uh, sit, good boy. Fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, good boy, huh? Sit. Good dog, good dog, sit. He's also starting to learn some steadiness up here, because it's sit. He has to sit there while I walk down and put the, put the little stick down. Then he has to what? sit, he has to wait until I tell him to go and give him a hand signal. So he's also getting a little start on hand signals here, fetch. Good boy. Here, come on, good dog. Amy, sit, sit. Okay, and then, then we, then we, when we get it, when he get get the dog picking up the little stick, proficiently, as you just saw, in both directions, left and right. Then we're going to go to dummies. We started with the sticks because we didn't want any unpleasant association with dummies. Okay, now we'll get a dummy. Sit. Fetch, fetch, good boy, here, good boy, good boy, leave it, sit, good dog, good dog, and that's, that's pretty much what we do. I also like to introduce them to birds up here in similar manner. Uh, again, you want them going the length of the table, both left and right, because it's, a base, it's going to be a basis for your hand signals. And the secret to the whole thing is not to hurt the dog. That pinch on his foot should just be discomfort, and you wait that extra 30 seconds, 60 seconds, whatever it takes, for him to find out that he turns it off by grabbing that stick. Don't hurt him. When you start, when you start doing it with pain is when you start making it difficult for you and for the dog. He can, he can do it just as easily with just discomfort rather than pain and he'll like it a whole lot better, and your job will be easier. Now, I want to show you, we get them doing it on this table, and that's great, but we need to be able to do it out in the field, because what we're going to use it for later on is the hardmouth dogs, if they, if they start exhibiting that property. And what we're going to do, we're going to transfer this to a little ear pinch, and we're just going to put the ear against the collar. Always have the collar in your hand, and just a light pinch. Light, just press your thumbnail in, into, into his ear very lightly, just enough to produce discomfort and let him turn it off by getting a dummy. You don't need to hurt him. I can't emphasize that point too much. You just make your job harder. And we do it again, fetch. Good boy, good boy. We're teaching him to, to do something active to relieve tension. Everything else we've taught him, in the, that being obedience and sitting and staying, has all been passive behavior to release tension. Now we're teaching him something active to release tension, which is to fetch. Fetch. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Okay, we give him a couple of sessions like that with the ear on the table, then on the ground, and then you have another, another avenue of communication with him. Uh, when, he drops, when he drops a dummy or a bird coming out of the water, if he drops it out in the water, you can give him a little ear pinch when he gets to you, and that tells him that oh, I should have brought I should have brought it to to you, and he'll go back and pick it up. If he gets if he gets uh, 
starts to get a little hard mouth, then you take, take the bird from him and make him pick it up, again with a light pinch on his ear. This enforces or reinforces your ownership of the bird. And that'll, that'll, that'll tell him in his language that it's your bird, not his, and that will, that will uh, take care of the hard mouth if, if your dog is one that happens to have that trait, which a lot of ours are beginning to have. Uh, mainly because of this condition retrieve. We train so many of them that way that, that we keep the uh, traits suppressed and therefore it's bred and, and uh, passed on to the offspring. But this is the way we take care of it.